Hey everyone, welcome to Opal Oracle. For those of you who are new, my name is Raji. It's really nice to meet you. And those returning, uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's wonderful that, I just won't stop saying it, that people are so open to these other methods of healing and exploration within our minds and body and spirit. It's wonderful. Um, also, this is for Capricorn um, for mid-October. Now, uh, a few things. One, I chose dowsing again for the mid-month. Um, this reading is broken down um, into four sections representing the four corners of the earth, the four archangels, however you want to put it. Um, there's a section for your work, there's a section for love, uh, creativity, and spirituality. Now, um, in relation to that, I would also like to mention um, that you had the most views, uh, you had over 3,000 views, and for me, um, in my channel, it's, uh, or this channel, it's, um, that's really big for me. Um, and it's not about me, it's that that many people found it, and the majority of you resonated with it, and I had some really wonderful comments, so thank you for, uh, I'm just really happy we found one another, you know? All right, let's see what you got. Work. Love, Good. creativity, spirituality. Wowza. Okay. Now, in addition to those four corners, I also picked one card from Mariel Tarot. I always want to see t say Tarot with her. I don't know why. And you received the Empress. This is so beautiful. What an earthy energy for you. Um... She's ruled by Venus, which this is the month of Venus, so that's wonderful. Um, she's about her, uh, you know, I just said it's a cancer in this way, but she's like, you know, she's the tender of the garden, you know? But she's, uh, most importantly, she's the tender of her own garden so that she can tend everything else, okay? But she's... She's wonderful. What a beautiful, divine, feminine, the number three. Okay. Now, in work. Let me set a timer, actually, because my timing has been so strange with uh, the seasons changing and just life in general. There's a lot going on. Okay. Now, work. I see that you have to, uh, like you're a little bit, the word combative comes to mind, but in the sense, you have the Hierophant, okay, that's what's pulling this information right now, strongly. This is Taurus's card. Um, you also have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups, okay, this is interesting. Most people received two, you received a third. Um, Basically, what I see here is the Hierophant is about structure. It's about tradition. It's about rules, regulations. You know, it can represent institutions, etc. Now, this Queen of Cups is like, she's traditional in the sense of family, um, but in if, they, if the Queen of Cups and the Hierophant had a conversation, it would be a little bit different, okay? So, and there's something about it where, because this Page of Cups came out also, this is about creativity, okay? This is about surprise. It's about um, I just keep hearing creativity, but like uh, in the sense where it's like here on one end is the hierophant, and here is the page of cups, okay? Page of cups is sort of juvenile. He's very excitable. He's very creative, and then this hierophant is like. These are the rules. I must follow the rules. This is th the way it's always been, da-da-da. So maybe you have a boss that's a little more regulated. And you, on the other hand, may be more of an artist. Now what sits amidst that is the Queen of Cups, which shows me that um, there's a lot of water here. So emotionally speaking, I see that you want to be emotionally connected to your work. Maybe you like the people you work with in a way. Maybe you even really like your boss, but there's something about it where you're waiting. You're waiting for something. You're like examining the cups. In these two cards, they're both like 
looking down at these cups. They're really, they're really considering how emotionally connected, uh, how emotionally, I feel, I hear the word fulfilling, this job is. I see for some of you, you're also waiting. Your, your boss could be an earth sign also, or you could be. I don't see your card here, but they could be a Capricorn like you. Um, we do have the Queen of Pentacles on the board, which is Capricorn's card. Um, You have to use your intuition about the situation, okay, when it comes to work. Uh, I understand that you want to uh, gain more, okay? Um, you want to gain more independence within your work, okay? But you have to, there's something about waiting on your boss. You know, like this person makes the decisions, okay? Whatever that means to you. So there is something strong about that waiting for this person to make whatever decision. And I see, for the majority of you, even though this is in your work section, work can also be within yourself, as love doesn't necessarily have to be your relationship. It can be um, just overall feeling of love, okay? But there's something, again, I just keep hearing the word waiting. Um, and I'm not getting any messages on how long that would be. Okay, now, I'm going down into your creativity. I see here, and regardless of whether you experience or uh, see yourself as an artist, you very much are. Everyone is. Um, you know, you're either that beautiful painter, that beautiful builder of, uh, you know, maybe you work with wood, maybe you work with metal, maybe you work with electronics, like, maybe you make the best bunt cake. I don't know, you know, uh, maybe you just create environments or create a uh, conversation, okay, I see here that it's more about um, creating emotions, okay, creating an independence, uh, I also see here, you have the nine of pentacles and the high priestess in your creativity section, this shows me both these creatures spend a lot of time alone, okay, so there's something about that where you are fueled in your creativity during this time particularly when you are alone, okay? It's not to say that you don't find other people to be a muse of sorts in the external world, but internally when you're alone in your space, whatever, you feel the most motivated. Um, when it's like when you have time to step away from your responsibilities is when you feel like your life is more fun, okay? Even though you're a Capricorn and you love to work, but all of us need and desire an expression of creativity outside of where we make our money. And I find it interesting that um, you're, you have two pentacles here. You have no pentacles in your work section. But you have these two pentacles here. We're actually in the opposite corners of one another. This is in your love. This is in your creation. So I also see, for those of you in ways of, like, relationships or um, solidarity of groundedness in your relationships, whether that would be at work, with your friends, with your lover, whatever, I see that your create whatever it is that you do create, It's like, even if you don't give yourself enough credit for it, other people see your bravery in your, uh, in your path. Okay? The, the, and I also see a maturity here, too, because it seems to be that I'm going from earth um, down to this creativity. One second.
There's not one sword card except for this Ace of Swords, it's, which was on the bottom of the deck and actually flew out while I was shuffling originally. I put it back. This is very much a time of truth, uh, just planetarily speaking, if you will. Um, also, Libra is very honest. Um, you know, she's the sword. This is the sword of justice, you know. So it shows me that, like, you understand your truth at this time. Also, in the past, recently, you've spoken your truth. Now, that could have been externally and or internally. Um, but with this sword, it's like this is a big sword, and um, there are situations that you, you know, sometimes this sword cuts away situations that makes you feel separated, okay? Because in your love, you also have the fool. And the fool is looking over at this page, which sometimes can be an offer of love. It's messages of love, um, even though it's in your work section. But just like uh, the excitement, the child's excitement of love. Like, and then, but the thing is, is after... After the page comes the queen, it's like, okay, so there's something new that's, st that's going to start, right, within your love. Or there's something, uh, a fresh new start, definitely. Um, where you're just sort of giving your cares to the world, like, whatever, whatever happened, I don't care. In the sense that you're accepting it, though. Not like pushing it down and not dealing with it. It's like we were talking about in October, like expressing your feelings, you know, even if that is at work. And I don't mean having a cry fit, not that you would, but like, you know, uh, crying to your boss about all the stresses that you have in life, but actually finding, you know, maybe if you do have kind of a cool boss or if you have people at work, um, just having more like emotional exchange, okay, so that we can practice that. Because the fool is also about dropping baggage, okay? He only has this little pack. He, he, he basically dropped everything else. And I see for some reason, for those of you, which I know a lot of you actually from watching, uh, well, for some of you, the October reading was actually you going through a process of, of a separation. Um, but of course, these... Uh, readings, although I base them as a relationship reading, it is always a spirituality reading, it's always a relationship with ourselves. But I like that he's not afraid, this fool in love, okay? So that means that regardless of whether you're involved, whether regardless of whether you broke, just broke up, w regardless of whether you're interested in something new, it shows me that you're kind of like have cleaned the slate in a way. It's like you've taken these other emotional uh, areas of your life uh, that have been really emotionally deep for you, and you're sort of just putting them into the past. You're giving them to God. You're like, I don't need to hang on to this cup, okay, the, this, this, whatever this emotion is that I've been hanging on to for so long. You know, I, I'm going to release myself from that. I want to feel more stable in who I am. I want to feel more fearless in who I am. And what's really beautiful is you have two queens on the opposing sides. And you go from water to earth, which is wonderful. This is, um, again, that's your card. She also has the same roses as the magician. Okay? She's about financial stability, which is good, because it is in line with your money. Okay, or with your finances, whatever. That's stability that you gain through what I build, right? Your Capricorn I build. You could have a new opportunity, too, if you wait it out, and you just keep your emotions balanced about you. Just keep, like, a... Not to fake the funk or anything, but just to really... Like I said, just give it to God or whatever you want to believe in. Release that fear of this rigidity of the Hierophant, okay? Because you have the High Priestess here below, okay? It shows me that the news that will be coming in, whatever it is, you know what it is, 
And the Empress is also looking over into your work and creativity section. And I see with all these apples here, it's like she's gathering the harvest. Like, she... It's fruitful right now. Okay? So keep it, keep it in that realm. Now... I also want to say, as these are general, for some of you, particularly in this love section, you have the fool, with the fool and this queen of pentacles, there's a possibility to begin something emotional with an earth sign. This particularly being Capricorn, I want to say that there's a new opportunity within you, like, there's like a light that's shining on you, that's making you recognize that that emotional uh, desire that you, in a sense, are seeking through others is very much within yourself also, okay? You can combine the two things, but that's the most important, okay? Because below this Queen of Pentacles is the sun, okay? This is in your spirituality. It's beautiful. This is one of the most positive cards in tarot. It's like also represents Leo, so perhaps there's been a process since August that's making you question your own self-value, okay, or you've been considering and building this light within you about your own self-value, about your own work, and like, how it is that you work, what it is that you put into something, you know, if you're full of love and you love, uh, you know, she's the mother, you have two mothers here also, you know, and the Empress is the mother. There's a lot of divine feminine energy, and it's actually, there's three of them, so it all goes back to this Empress, okay? Beautiful. Really beautiful, actually. Now, your spirituality. There's a, there's going to be a blessing within your spirituality, okay? in the sense that it's going to bring you a lot of, like, fire inside of you, a lot of passion inside of you. Okay, I love it. It's like the Ace of Wands beneath this fool. This is your love. This is your spirituality. It's like, so he's carrying this rod, right? He's carrying this wand, and it has this little pack on it. And in your love right now, it's like you're trying to figure out where you're going, you're still sort of considering the past and what happened emotionally, but you're trying to keep yourself also really, really strong, okay, really centered, really grounded, which is awesome. I mean, again, do not ignore your emotions. You have some, this queen and page is a lot, okay, but whatever this, uh, whatever this new start is, is going to bring you so much, this is also creativity, like, it's just, it's the fire stick. It's the magic wand. Like, you can do anything with this. And right next to it is the sun. Okay? It's awesome. It's like, pow, pow. Like, psh, psh, psh. here we are. Like, do you, wa do you want something? It's like something, you're going to be, I hear the word enlightened. I also hear the word illuminated. Okay? And... For whatever reason, I also see here that for those of you who have been working on your independence, who have been working on your own, uh, again, self-worth, self-value, uh, working out your finances, like, independently, you know, spending that time at home, spending time really considering the deeper, darker, like, because that's why we have this white and black column, like, there's shadow sides and light sides to everything, to everyone, it's important to spend this time alone uh, to be able to see what's happening because it starts with this, okay? This self. Then we dive deeper into who and what that really means, okay? And then from there, it's like God or whatever you believe in, spirit, bring, hands you this wand and says, would you like it? And this baby on this horse is like, heck yeah, I do. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love sticks. You know, it's like when you when you buy your kids, like, Christmas presents or whatever, and then, um, or for those of you younger don't have kids, it's like you <coughs> receive a present when you're a child, and, and it doesn't matter what's in the box. Like, you're more excited about the box. You're like, but this is beautiful. I love 
I love sticks. I love twigs. You know? Something really beautiful about this reading. It's awesome. Um, and then you also have a third card attached to your spirituality. Which actually was in your October reading. And you have the Knight of Cups. This deck is a little bit different. You have three of the four court cards of water on the table. Okay. Now, for some of you, someone could... I see two cards of someone emotionally offering you something. Offering you something that gives emotional... There's emotions attached to it. Okay? And I see that there is good... There is good news within that. You actually don't do not have any cards of challenge. I guess it's more about you you figuring out like how you really feel about a situation. You know, understanding and asking yourself like, okay, yeah, I'm on this new path, right? I had these things happen in the past that were a little bit rigid. I had my emotions were, you know, mature and then immature and you had to uh, I'm trying to figure out who I really am. And in that, you'll be able to decide, because just because a blessing comes does not mean that it's for you. You're the only one that can decide that, okay? But I see here as an advice, in the cards, and these are general, of course, so please use your intuition, okay? What has your belly been telling you? Not your fear, you're like right here, this feeling. You know, not the low feeling, that's the scared. But I see here with this ace and this sun, there's a, there's an opportunity of emotional exchange that is going to grow your spirituality, grow your faith. I hear in your own ability. Okay? I actually want to check really quick to see what this knight's, like, looking at. He, um, that's a lot of cards. There's the King of Cups. Now all of them are here. It's a very emotional, I'm, I'm assuming through the cards, You'll have a lot of emotions during this time, okay? This technically is supposed to span from the 5th of October, which is the full moon in Aries, to the new moon in Libra on the 19th. 10, 18, 19. Don't let your mind... You're reassessing a lot of... Uh, you're reassessing a lot within your mind right now, okay? And that's all right. You're allowed to do that. But what I like is this king at the end. What this shows me is that, in truth, it's not necessarily about like, oh, this is an offer, like, here's love, like, do you want to be with me forever and ever? Like, it's not, I mean, of course, for some of you, you're going to sense that and want that, and that's what you expect. You'll receive it if you're supposed to. But I asked what he's looking at, and you have the seven of pentacles, The Eight of Swords, these cards keep falling, the Six of Swords, the Four of Swords, and then the King of Cups, okay? We talked about this, this, in your October reading, this King was in the reverse, you know, it's about learning how to express yourself, you know? When your mind's out of control and then it starts affecting your emotions, you're allowed to say, like, it's weird, I feel really stressed out today, you know, or I feel a little bit scared right now, or uh, sometimes I don't know how to express my emotions, but I'm learning, okay, I'm learning, and that's all right, people will accept you, the truth of the matter, that ace that was on the bottom, like, if anybody judges you for being honest, they're not worth it, okay? Now, 
Uh, to close out this reading, we're going to choose a oracle from The Finite and Infinite Games by James P. Carr. I absolutely adore this book. Capricorn. Well, the first word that my finger pointed at was um, the word possibility, okay? But this is the paragraph. Now, this book is a little deep, but we'll see how it, how it goes, okay? It says, finite games can be played again. They can be played in an indefinite number of times. It is true that the winners of the game are always the winners, of a game played at that particular time. But the validity of their titles depends on the repeatability of that game. It says, we, memor uh, we memorialize early football greats, but would not do so if football had vanished after its first decade. Okay, so there's something about this. Finite games can be played again, but they can but they can be played an infinite an indefinite number of times. That's about like, okay, so it's been this way before, it's always going to be this way now. Maybe that's what what a lot of these thoughts are about. Okay? You're a little bit concerned, maybe something happened. but the validity of their titles depends on the repeatability of that game. Now, it's like when you, as an example, an easy human example, say you break up with an ex and then you know they did you dirty but you still want them back. You know that the title, the validity of the title depends on the repeatability of the game. How valid is that title? Okay. How many times can you can you play the game before you finally start to realize that finite games are not how you actually win? An infinite game is how you win, you know? A game that continues and continues. That's what breakups are. It's a finite game. In the end, someone wins and someone loses, and you go your separate ways. An infinite game would be a relationship where, like, you have a struggle, and then you talk about it, you know? You express yourself, you're like, hey, this is the situation, and I'd really like to, this is how I'm feeling, um, and I'd like to discuss it, what I've been thinking about, and the other person's like, sure, I'd love to sit down and talk with you, you know, because I, I know that where you're coming from is a really grounded, loving place. You know, we don't have to keep those titles that we give ourselves, whether that be at work, whether that would be with our friends, whether what we were in the past, you know. You can be anything. The Empress here is teaching you that. You can grow yourself into anything. I see her just examining this page, too, in the Queen of Cups, like, well, how are you feeling? Like, she's, like, checking in with you. Like, maybe you'll feel sort of energetic pings that are, like, are you paying attention? Like, do you need to say something? Even if it's to yourself, you know? Just getting it out vibrationally speaking. Right on. You're going to be good, Capricorn. I know it. Don't be afraid. This fool here, he's so fearless. And you, he's backed by the Queen of Pentacles. It's like, you got it. You know? Just make sure when you're moving forward that um, you're trusting your intuition, okay? That you're keeping your independence. Keeping that inner child happy, you know? like stop sometimes and just stand where the sun is and like let it like warm your flesh like 
you know, we're so busy these days, walking, running, driving, whatever we're doing, it's like just stopping for a second. Also, see, getting out in nature is really important to you. It's apple season where I am, so there's something about that also. All right, I'm wishing you the best, 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 best. Until next time, I'll see you in November.